Welcome to Canyons U Bite Size PD. Today's PD is Utah Online Library 2023 UEN updates. So we're going to review uh, the updates to the Utah's online library in an effort to help you find reliable resources. So our question today is, where do you find credible and reliable classroom resources? So if you have a moment, feel free to type that in the chat. Uh, please remember that this is being recorded and will be archived on the Canyons U Bite Size PD Canvas page uh, so that you can refer to this later. Please remember our professional development norms, including being committed, responsible, respectful, and safe. I'd appreciate it if while you're uh, participating this afternoon that you are present and engaged in our learning. You may mute your microphone and turn on your camera if you're comfortable. However, um, if you would like, please remember that you also have the option to blur your background and you can type any questions or comments into the chat. The information that is shared today will help you provide high quality academic instruction by providing vetted, reliable resources from credible sources that you can use in your classroom. Our learning intention, during today's Bite Size PD, you will learn about UEN's new updates to Utah's online school library platform and how to find suitable resources to use in your classroom while you're in the platform. The success criteria include uh, you will know that you're successful whenever you've identified resources in Utah's online library that you can vet in your lessons. There's so many great resources that are available through UEN um, that uh, I'm hoping you'll find at least one and possibly multiple. To access Utah's online library, it's pretty simple. It's just onlinelibrary.uen.org. And that will take you directly to the platform itself to this homepage. Oh, sorry. I was ahead of ourselves. So this is Utah Online School Libraries page. And we're gonna start by watching their short introductory video. What will you explore today? The building blocks of our genetic code? The history of World War II code toppers? Journeys like these begin with Utah's online library, the place for Utahns of all ages, from Blanding to Bountiful, to explore articles, encyclopedias, videos, scholarly databases, and more. Utah's online library is available for all Utah learners. All you need is curiosity and this address, onlinelibrary.uen.org. So get going. Fantastic discoveries await. So that's their introductory video. Um, on this homepage, um, it does take you to Utah's online school library. If you notice in the summary paragraph, um, this is actually a uh, multiple user platform. So they have um, a school library section. They have a public library um, they have an academic online library and they have another resource called Preschool Path for early learners and their caregivers. So um, if you click on any of the blue text, it will take you to those resources that are different. One of the um, kind of updates to the Utah online library is that they have uh, kind of distributed um, the sort the resources under different landing pages or different collections that meet the needs of unique users. So there's 
the public library, the school library, the academic library, and the preschool path. So this should help um, users find the resources that are suitable for their needs. On the school library page, there's a couple of things that you should be aware of. First off, in the top right-hand navigation, there's four different tools. Um, the home, which takes you to this page. There's support materials, classroom activities, and this one on the far right says home access portal, which provides the login and password for resources on this page. So these um, resources are licensed, um, they're for Utah residents only. So uh, you can't post the login and passwords on um, pages that are available to um, uh, out other resources, other audiences, sorry. Um, that information is also available down here at the bottom of the page where it provides an, another link to the support materials, uh, frequently asked questions. Again, here's the uh, login and password. So the login is online and the password is research. Uh, the home access letter, and again, it does state is a licensed resource. Please do not post the login credentials on public websites. It also has a way to contact um, UEN if you have concerns about content or just need more information about finding what you're looking for. They do have this disclaimer, research databases and materials are not suitable for all ages. Users are advised to follow information literacy standards and practices, which basically just means use the resources that um, are suitable for the level of student or learner um, that you are or are working with. So we have elementary, middle and high school. Uh, if we click on elementary, in the center of the page, we have these blue navigation buttons, reference collection, Utah resources and general resources. If you click on these buttons, it just takes you to different sections of this page. The reason we're starting at elementary is because as you progress, um, you have access to all of the elementary resources and then resources that are specific to middle school or if you're at the high school level, uh, resources that um, are suitable for elementary, middle, and high. So some of these resources are the same across all levels and some of them different are differentiated. So. As you can see um, under the reference collection, we have culture grams. And if you hover over each button, it has a little descriptor that tells you what the information is um, and how to use this resource. So for instance, culture grams is a reference resource for reliable cultural information on countries of the world. So if you were studying countries, in any capacity, you would click on this and it would take you to this culture grams page and you can type in um, either a country or a state, a province of Canada, um, and then you can uh, find out more about that country or state or province in Canada. Um, mostly demographic information, but some notes about um, culture, uh, festivals, holidays, etc. Uh, science in, um, in Espanol. So, uh, Ciencias in Espanol is uh, a Spanish language science database. We have digital science online. EBSCO Elementary School. So this is a um, database that's geared towards elementary school. We have multiple databases on this page. Um, this one, EBSCO Educator, 
is for education students and professionals. E-Media is a digital library of resources that are created for teachers, Utah teachers and students. Gale in Context is another database. Scribble is a platform is a resource that you can use to um, organize research. And um, if you're familiar with any of the other similar tools like Noodle Tools, um, Scribble helps you cite resources, summarize. It's great for organizing research and you can register with your school address. Sounds Abound is a resource that provides um, royalty-free music library and sound effects that are licensed for educational use. So if your students are making a project where they need background music or sound effects, um, they need to be using uh, royalty-free music like uh, that's available through Sounds Abound as opposed to copyrighted music like popular songs um, or other media, especially if you're going to post um, anything like YouTube will take it down if you're not the original copyright holder um, or if you have copyrighted music playing in your pieces. World Book Online is an encyclopedia. So just like you might have seen encyclopedias um, on the shelf, um, now all that information is available online. Um, if you click on this, for instance, it will take you to resources um, in English and Spanish. If you're a Canyons school district um, employee or classroom teacher, um, you should know that in addition to this basic world book encyclopedia, uh, Canyons has a subscription to World Book that is much more robust. And we, if you are at a middle school or high school, you should reach out to your teacher librarian and have them uh, assist you with gaining access to World Book Online. Um, so that you can access additional resources besides these that are available through Utah's online library. If you work at an elementary school in Canyon School District, you can reach out to myself, uh, Gretchen Zaitsev. I'm the district's library media specialist, and I would be happy to assist you with getting access to um, our subscription of World Book Online. So, and then it has World Book Online available in Spanish. We move down to the center of the page where we see a, a number of um, Utah-centric resources, including uh, this Counties of Utah, which is similar to Culturegrams, except for it's actually about each county in Utah. Um, Deseret News, uh, Salt Lake Tribune's photo archives, uh, digital newspapers, the state archives, and state history encyclopedia. Under general resources, you're going to see some national uh, resources um, as opposed to just the state resources. So the National Archives, the Library of Congress, National Library of Medicine. Um, it links to um, online or open educational resources. So this is the Utah's Open Textbook Project, um, the Preschool Path for Early Learners that was linked um, back on the homepage, the American Library Service to Children's Notable Digital Media links to a list of um, kid-friendly websites and resources that are available online. Um, the Mountain West Digital Library portal uh, links to colleges, public libraries, and museums, and historical societies in Hawaii, Idaho, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Wyoming. So um, lots of great 
resources here that you may want to be using and incorporating into your lessons, especially if you're looking for primary sources or reliable information or research. Um, this is really the place to go for those types of resources. You'll notice if you click on middle school, you have access to um, not only EBSCO Elementary, but EBSCO Middle School, and not only Gale in Context Elementary, but Gale in Context Middle School. So again, the Utah resources are similar and the general resources are similar regardless of age. Scrolling back up and arrowing back, when we go to the high school, you'll notice that not only do you have access to the same thing that <clears throat> the elementary and middle schools, but you have an additional high school resources, um, both for EBSCO, Gale <clears throat> reference collection, and then again, the same Utah and general resources. There is so much information that's available through these platforms that it's hard to cover in just one bite-sized PD, but I hope you will take the time to review uh, <clears throat> resources that are suitable for your students and really take a deep dive in what's available. Uh, again, the Utah Online School Library provides access to reliable and credible resources that um, are safe for your students to use regardless um, and, and more effective than having your students go out on the web and Google search. So if you need additional support in finding those resources for use in your classroom, please reach out to myself. Again, my name is Gretchen Zaitsev and I'm the Canyons District Library Media Specialist or the teacher librarian in your building. Thank you for your time. And I hope you have uh, a great experience exploring these resources.